Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just wanted to share with you a quick tip on how to auto-loop your samples when you're chopping your samples and you want to loop it so you can check your, your chop points and stuff like that. I'll show you how to do that inside a machine. So I'm going to pull up one of my samples right here. So let's mess with that one. So first thing you want to do when you first load it it's going to be in one shot mode so the first thing you want to do is actually change that from one shot to um, ADSR so you're going to be on your first voice settings you want to go to the second page where it says pitch and gate and right there where it says one shot I want to change that to ADSR so now when I hit it it only plays when I hold it So that's the first thing we want to do. Now we can go into sampling, edit, and we can turn on a loop. The first one you're going to be on is the trim page where it says one out of three. You want to go ahead and go over to the second page. Loop mode. I want to enable. And right now it's going to be as long as my starting end points, but I don't want it to be this long. So I'm going to just go ahead and go back and adjust it. for whatever part I want to chop out or whatever part I want to loop or I want to work with. So let's say I want to start about right here. It's not really a loop. I mean, it, it, it's not clipping or anything, but that's probably not the loop that I want. So I'll just keep messing with going back and forth between the start end point and the, the actual loop end. Because as you can see, my loop part can be different than my start and end. So even if I just know I want to work with this and I want to just keep moving this back and forth, I can do that as well. If I were to have any kind of clips or anything in there, I can mess with my crossfade, but I don't really need that right now. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to give me a little bit more to work with. So for me, that sounds like it would be a good place to actually take some take a loop and, and start messing with it so as you can see my actual my actual loop points are separate from my start and end this is my actual end point but my loop point is just right here and this is what I'm working with so now that I got it what I could do is go in and actually truncate it to that if I really wanted to I can go in and make that my end point As I can see, if I hold it down, I got off just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it a little bit. And I'm doing it, I'm taking extra long just because I want you to actually see the process. Of course, the more you do this, you know, it's, it really becomes second nature to you, but the main thing you want to do is make sure that on your sound setting under the pitch and gate settings it's going to be your second page on the sample module make sure that's on ADSR that allows you to hold it down so it only plays when you hold the pad that's the only way that your loop point is going to work because if you have it in one shot then the loop point's not going to work and then to set your loop point you just go into sampling and edit 
and you got your trim for the start and end. Then on the next page, you can enable the loop. What I could do after that, I can just go in and actually edit it, edit this, go in and say maybe I want to go over here and truncate it. It's a perfect loop. Now I can get to chopping or doing whatever I want to do. So that's pretty much how you mess with auto looping inside a machine when you're sampling to get your loops and chop straight. So, of course, let me know if you got any questions. It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.